Hello? Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, guys! Okay! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Ask Noah. Hello? And I'm Noah. Today, we have a very special guest. His name is Brandon. Let's just welcome Brandon. Hello, Brandon! Hello. How are you, my friend? I'm good today. How are you, Noah? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just... Hello? Oh. Hello? Noah? Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to Ask Noah! Yes, welcome to the show. Brandon? Yes? Oh, did I say that already? Yes, yes you did. Oh, oh, okay. Well, Brandon, tell us a little something about yourself. Well, my name is Brandon, as you all know. Um, I am going to Presidential College, San Fernando, right now. This is my last year, mm -hmm. so almost finished. I'm kind of eager to start my life, maybe head to university. Okay, sounds like you have a really good plan, really good plan. Well, I, I trust in God, and that's my plan. Oh, so you said you're trusting in God. That's a, that's a really good statement. So then, are you a Christian? Yes, matter of fact, I am a Christian. I believe in one. Not just in religion, but a relationship with Christ. Whoa, you said something remarkable there, Brandon. A relationship with Christ. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about that relationship. Well, Christ is our Savior. And he died for our sins. So we must always be grateful for what you've done. Okay, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So what about your friends in school? What about your schooling? What about those things? Well, most of them, some of them aren't Christians. Some of them are various religions. But in school, we are not taught creation. We are, we are taught evolution. They come from the... The science perspective. Oh, I see. What, what, what do you think, Brandon? Well, I, I believe, I think that we are, we are created by God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A lot of my friends don't believe that, though. Oh. Well, do you know how to answer them? Mm, not, not particularly. Okay, well then guys, let's go to the Word. Let's go to the Word. Now, God and science is very, very similar. Really? God actually uses science. So, we go to the beginning. Genesis 1.1. Okay, it says here, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Do you understand what that means, Brendan? Yeah, we are living right now on earth and God is in heaven. Well, yes, 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 but according to science, we have time space and matter. Now, in the beginning is time. God created the heavens, that space, oh. and the earth, that's matter. Wow, that, that's really interesting, no? Yeah. Think about this, for instance, Brandon. This in this entire area, we call this the universe. Do you agree? Yeah, that's true. The universe. Well, uni means what? One. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
And what's a verse? A piece of the Bible. Yeah, a verse in the Bible. So, universe means one, one verse. verse. Check one. this out. Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. The first verse of the Bible, God tells us he created time, space, and matter. In one verse, uni verse. verse. Wow, that's really, really eye-opening. Wow, mm -hmm. I could finally answer them. Yeah, that's good. that's good, that's good. Now, people always ask me, when did God come about? Why he came about? Who is he? Lots of questions like that. But think of this. Hey, Frank. Oh, Frank's a cameraman. Frank. Frank, we got a box over there. Over there. Can you get it, please? Oh, oh Frank. Oh, that's Maya. That's Maya. Sorry, guys. Frank probably, Frank has a day off today. And just, just remember, Frank has a day off. <laughs> I sometimes forget the names of these camera guys. <laughs> anyway, Brandon, can you pick that box up? No problem. What does it say on this side? Time, space, and matter. Okay. Could you fold that box? Yeah. Fold it up to me. Really good. Really tight. Really good. Fold. That's good. That's good. So Brandon just contained time, space, and matter. But Brandon, open back that box, please. Now, I want you to get inside of that box. All right. Mm-hmm. Crouching, crouching. Crouching. Come on, get in, get in. You're a, you're a smart guy. You go to presentation college. Get in. trying. That was my, my hardest. Okay, okay. Well, you see, it's difficult to put God in a box. Yeah. People think that they can put God in a box. To make time, space, and matter, God had to be outside of time, space, and matter. Do you think the guy who created this laptop Right here, this laptop. Is he inside of this laptop moving <laughs> all the numbers and buttons? Definitely not. Definitely not. Did the guy who invented the car, is he inside the engine turning the wheels? For sure not. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, God exists outside of time space and matter. That's why he is God. So, do you understand? N not quite yet, Noah, not quite. Okay, 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 okay. Let's say... Noah? Noah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Ask Noah. And this is my talk show. Look, did I say that already? Yeah, oh, we, we went oh, through it. Oh, okay. What were we talking about? We were talking about time, space, and matter. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what time is it in Trinidad right now? 
135 by my watch. 135. What time is it in Australia? Maybe five o'clock. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> well, what time is it to God now? 135 or tomorrow? I don't know. That's right. Because to God, time doesn't exist. It exists for us. Not for him. Yeah, not for God. That's why in Exodus 3, 14, when Moses asked God, what's his name? He said, I am that I am. You see, God exists all the time. That's why he is I am. Not I was or I will be, but I am. All right, Noah, yeah. I can understand now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, okay, we got to take a commercial break. So, it's a wrap for today. Guys, we really, really appreciate it. All the assistants, camera guys, and everybody else. And let's all put our hands together for, for Brandon.